I do a ton of pinhole. I love it. It's great. And I would never take tissue from the palate or the roof of the mouth anymore because that hurts more than the procedure itself. I do a ton of these procedures. However, they're cosmetic procedures. And believe me, people, when it comes to cosmetics, people very often have unrealistic expectations, as you can ask any plastic surgeon. And sometimes that's a challenge. Here's a case, all lower anterior recession. Now, lower anterior, as I've said before, that's the hardest place to cover recession. You're fighting that muscle. There's a huge muscle down there that's pulling that tissue down. You're fighting gravity. Uh, so lower anterior is a really, really, the most difficult area in the mouth to be successful at treating recession. But with the pinhole technique, and if the patient's careful while healing, we can get a great result. And I'm continually improving what I'm doing. Every case is a learning experience, every single one. So there's a learning curve with a pinhole that is unlimited. You're always learning. Because these roots can be very, very sensitive. Patient can't brush, can't have anything cold. If we can cover the roots, those patients get more comfortable. And it's, it's very gratifying to me, as well as helping the patient. In the upper arch, you, there was an enormous amount of recession. We're able to cover that recession and work with a restorative dentist. The patient was delighted, got a great result. And we can frequently do that with pinhole. And the pinhole does last. We may get a little shrinkage, but that stabilizes. And the results, the, the, these results last, in my opinion, indefinitely for the most part. And this is one that, you know, this is a typical, like, one-year post-op uh, case, uh, and they're great. This is another one. Um, the upper left, you can see, and the lower. I, I, I mean, the root coverage is, a, it, it, why take tissue from the palate? Why cut tissue out of the roof of the mouth? Plus, you can only take a little tissue. You can't cover 10 teeth. You can cover three or four, plus you have morbidity from the palate. Who needs it? So as you can see, this is, uh, I mean, it was horrible. It was really horrible. It was really horrible. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we, we covered the roots. There's going to be some shrinkage, but patient's presentable. Okay. So right down here, this lower right cuspid, this patient had a cyst in this area. And a huge amount of tissue was removed, and the patient had this the recession, and there was scar tissue here, the cyst was removed. These, you know, the truth is, I said, I don't know if I can do very much here, but let's try it. So we did the pinhole. Patient is so thrilled. It was, it's totally gratifying. You know, and this is, uh, you know, post-op. It's uh, fair, about a month and a half. But this isn't going to shrink much more, if, uh, if at all, because this tissue is thick. It's up there. It's in place. You know, we got great coverage here. But this was the area that we really were concerned with and, again, turned out great. What's next here? Yeah, so this is an interesting case. I've shown it before, but this patient had a connective tissue graft from the palate on two different occasions not by yours truly, and not by a mom. <laughs> but, so the patient came to me. So I said, what can you do? So I did a kind of a modified pinhole. And let me tell you something. Why was it failing? Why did it fail twice? The patient had a class three occlusion. And every time the patient bit down, they drove food down to the lingual area, forcing the graft away. I mean, the graft couldn't succeed. So what did I do? We built a, a lower occlusal plane, which jetted over the area while it was healing. So when the patient bit down, they couldn't drive food into that area. And as long as it wasn't being traumatized by food driving into it from the, from the, from the maxillary anterior teeth, it had a chance to heal, you know, and it did. And so despite the scar tissue, despite the two previous surgeries, which does have an effect on the blood supply to that area, we were able to improve it you know, very significantly. It was an interesting and great case. This was a case where the patient had recession around implants. We did the pinhole. You can see the, the before and 
This is the after. Uh, worked, was this Dr. George? I don't, it might have been Dr. George. I worked with a great restorative dentist, obviously, and um, I brought the tissue down and thickened it. And I think it's Dr. George, he's a prosthodontist, who comes to our office periodically, and he did a restorative, and she just brought me a bottle of wine. She has a vineyard, by the way. And she brought a bottle of wine to me and to my two assistants. This was done a while ago, but she's still coming in, and she's, she's very happy. Restore your smile and your health. Visit drnemeth.com to schedule your appointment today.